So now in this video, we're coming back to a circuit I did a number of videos ago now. We have the LS, or the 74 I mean, LS, actually it's this one, 14, right there. So this is a hex inverter with Schmidt trigger input. And it's the low power shot key version. And so, unfortunately that's why, well, if this is okay, then this is okay. But I wanted more of a 50% duty square wave and fortunately it's because I was using low power shocky that we didn't have that so again it's not end of the world maybe this is even what you want so we have here an LED being protected by 470 ohm resistor which is quite a bit more than we need for a 5 volt power supply but it's still okay a 1 kilo ohm resistor when the output is high it charges the capacitor when the output is low it discharges the capacitor and so we can actually look at the capacitor charging and discharging right there there you can see it's charging quicker so once the uh, voltage gets low enough it starts charging and it's charging more rapidly than it is discharging it's charging and discharging mostly through that resistor but unfortunately the input is also influencing it so now let's uh, yank out the 1 kilo ohm resistor and replace it with a 10 kilo ohm resistor so we expect basically the same thing except for it taking 10 times longer and as you can see that is not happening so unfortunately this uh, is not working near as ideally as I had hoped so in any case we will pop this out really quick and replace it with pretty much the same component except for instead of being a low powered shot key version this is the uh, high speed CMOS version so we uh, it's kind of at an angle and there we go so this one we got it right here so there it is again 74 HC and then 14 so we still got the 74 and the 14 that means it is a hex six of them inverters with uh, Schmidt trigger output but now we have the high-speed CMOS version of it and the power is off let's turn the power on so remember this powered there we go the uh, the power kinda doesn't get power if I bend the uh, cable wrong but there you can see the capacitor charging now it's discharging so it had to work its way up to that point it started at a lower voltage that's why it was on for so long but now you can see it has a uh, nice glide right there and it looks like it's taken about as long to go up as down and there you can see the duty cycle is pretty close to uh, 50 percent so it's looking at a lot more data than we can see here to add that up so as it goes up and down it's changing how much but it's pretty close to 50 so we can yank this out again that's the 10 kilo ohm resistor and put the 1 kilo ohm resistor so that it goes faster and there you see again it looks more like a triangle wave than the uh, saw wave that we had earlier the sawtooth and so the uh, uptime looks about the same as the downtime and the duty is still going down as more data fills it up and yeah looks like it's spot on 50% right there that's what we want it so now let's go to the uh, output there and again it's uh, it's gonna take a little while to uh, fill up all that area and push out what we have but it looks like it's still holding about 50% holding uh, pretty close maybe a little lower now so in any case that uh, that kind of fixed it so having the low power shot key makes a uh, uh, difference compared to the high speed CMOS in some circuits as you can see here so I think they would both work the same if we were just going rail to rail as a switch the uh, low power shot key I think would turn off faster though or, or turn on faster whichever one it is because it's either pulling the voltage up a little or down a little and since the voltage was kind of held down here I'm pretty sure 
it's uh, holding it down a little bit more. But uh, any case, that's all stuff to look into more detail if it's really interesting to you. And uh, main takeaway though is now I know for more even square waves, I'd rather have the high speed CMOS, the HC version. So, in any case, hopefully you found the video interesting. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.